They're happy-go-lucky, bouncy, outgoing. If you're looking for Personality Plus in a puffball package, here's your pooch. Cute little dog with sort of mustache and beard and hairy ears. This is the Coton de Tuléard, a rare breed with a French name and some famous American fans. These little darlings have been popular with owners like Deborah Messing and Barbara Streisand. And they have a habit of balancing on their hind legs to please people. But how did they get their fancy name? The Coton has the most fluffy, cotton-like coat you could find in any dog. Coton means cotton in French. And Tuléar is a port city on the island of Madagascar. To this day, many legends surround the origin of the breed. Some say the Coton's ancestors were brought to Madagascar aboard pirate ships. Others insist the little dogs were companion pets to French ladies traveling to the African island by ship. The most common belief is that they descended from dogs that survived a shipwreck near Madagascar. Today, they are Madagascar's official dog. And revered and loved and on postage stamps and everything. These entertaining companion pets are members of the Bichon family. They're most well known for their cotton-like coat. Super soft, their irresistible coat comes in three colors, white, black and white, and tricolor. You can see them with little patches here, sometimes over one eye. With their prominent black noses and dark round eyes, the Catone can easily be mistaken for a stuffed animal. You just want to hug them and hold them because they're so cute. Oh, she's so cute, Nina. Oh, my goodness. If you need something to smile about, hop aboard a cruise ship, and you just might find this Catone living the high life. You can't have a bad day with that creature around. She is just a loving angel. Three-year-old Indy is the golden child of Jeff and Margot Peterson professional entertainers who spend a good part of every year performing on cruise ships around the world. Rather than leave their bundle of joy at home, they found a way to keep her close by. The very first time I used Indy in the show, the next day a woman came up to me and said, I saw your show, she was great. A natural entertainer with a basket of tricks, this seafaring sweetheart is the real headliner in Jeff's magic act. Every time she performs, I'm always surprised at how people will fall in love with her from the very first moment they see her. It's hard not to. This social butterfly welcomes all passengers who are away from home with equal excitement. We always say, if you need your puppy fix, just come and see us and Indy will be your girl. Yes, you are a sweet girl. I'm really missing my dog. And for the crew, she functions as a surrogate pet too, because they're forced to leave their dogs at home while at sea. Indy fills an important need. She's part of the crew, yeah. she's the best. She's part of the crew. I really miss my dog now, but then because of Indy, it makes me feel better. In her short life, this people-oriented pooch has already logged almost two years at sea. So she knows ship life like the back of her paw. Living with guests and strutting her stuff on the promenade is one of Indy's favorite pastimes. It's also a good way to get in her daily workout. Yeah, that's it. During her free time, Indy enjoys a little decompressing at the pool and browsing at the gift shop, where they sell postcards with her image front and center. But it's the disco where this energetic party girl can really let her hair down. Back in her cabin, this sassy little starlet doesn't just eat bonbons and watch TV. Rehearsing is a must, so every performance is picture perfect. Good girl. Bow. That's a good bow. <laughs> and when you've got to go, you've got to go. This wee wee pad keeps Indy from having any embarrassing accidents on board. Good girl. But before making evening appearances, Indy knows just where to go for a little beauty rest. After a nap and some primping, this canine socialite gets her second wind. Tonight is formal night, and Indy is in her element. Charming passengers left and right. Oh, well, you're a showstopper, aren't you? <laughs> Isn't she cute? Yes, she is. At the end of the day, Indy takes in the sunset and appreciates her nautical life. Remember, she's a Coton de Tuléar, and the ocean is in her blood. That's been something that's been going on for hundreds of years now. We're just bringing her back to sea. Whether it's at sea or on land, the Caton de Tuliar can live in almost any environment. 
and its exercise requirements are low. Some indoor fun, a short daily walk, or even a swim does the trick. In the health department, ketones generally get high marks, but they can suffer from hip dysplasia, luxated patellas, and eye problems. If you want these people-loving pets to look as adorable as they act, regular grooming is a must, because the ketones cotton coat becomes easily knotted. So you need to brush them every day, even if it's just a quick brush through. But whether you're teaching them tricks or manners, these eager to please canines tend to be quick studies. And it doesn't matter if your family is large or small, young or old, the Caton de Tulliar knows how to make itself at home. Bottom line is that the Caton de Tulliar can live in almost any environment and needs a small amount of daily exercise. It's a generally healthy breed that has above average grooming requirements, but is easy to train and fits in well with almost any kind of family.